Okay, I somehow missed uh, this particular table when I uh, talked about diet, uh, brain, and behavior. So I'll just add a couple of minutes here. Uh, this is uh, from the same uh, book uh, or collection of articles from uh, Scientific American uh, about um, becoming human. So a balanced diet uh, worth looking at since uh, many challenges can deter primates in the tropical forest from obtaining the calories and mix of nutrients they need from uh, plant foods. So we are looking here uh, whether they have to move large distances between like trees. Uh, trees bearing a favored food are often distributed patchily. Uh, limited availability, so many favored uh, items are available only uh, part of the year, some for only uh, hours. So you know many fruits are very seasonal and some uh, appear and disappear uh, literally on, on uh, daily times within a day. Uh, incomplete nutrition, few plant foods are both high in energy like calories and high in critically needed proteins, vitamins and minerals. So there is an empirical knowledge that the evolution brings them uh, and they uh, end up uh, transmitting that vertically through genetic uh, traits that they know uh, how to seek those out. Of course there are also uh, some fermented fruits and flowers that monkeys and uh, uh, elephants eat to get uh, intoxicated even though it's not uh, necessarily understood uh, whether that's done intentionally or unintentionally. Chemical defenses, potential foods often contain chemicals that are uh, ill-tasting or poisonous or that interfere with digestion of other foods. Okay. So, because most of such foods are inadequate in one way or another, animals must choose a variety of items each day. The chart above loosely reflects the relative abundance of desirable, so the green ones, and problematic in the yellow ones, uh, problematic components in a mouthful of uh, common foods. It also indicates uh, the typical availability of these foods on any given tree. So, let's just <clears throat> sorry, uh, flowers, so readily accessible calories, moderate protein, moderate to high fiber, low to moderate chemical defenses, variable availability in a given tree, fewer than three months, so that's a very much a, a spring bloom kind of thing. Uh, fruits are high in uh, calories, low in protein, moderate in fiber, uh, chemical defenses are low, fewer than three months. Uh, young leaves are low in calories but high in protein and moderate in fiber and moderate in chemical defenses fewer than uh, three months uh, availability and mature leaves are also low in calories uh, but moderate in uh, protein because as they mature they lose some of that high protein during their younger uh, stage as they are growing. Uh, fiber is high and chemical defenses are moderate and they can be available almost all year round uh, depending on uh, the tree being not deciduous. Right? So this is something that is worth keeping in mind that that would have affected behaviors uh, as a group, as individuals and how they learned uh, the behavior, uh, food related behaviors that we talked about uh, before. Okay, so just wanted to add that uh, small podcast just to give it more details about uh, food driven or food related behaviors and potential feedbacks uh, to the brain. Okay. <laughs>